Today's video is brought to you by Guardian Tales, a classic action-adventure RPG with cute pixel graphics. Guardian Tales features a ton of content variety with a four-player co-op, dungeons, and unique tower mode. It also features a unique single-player story mode that has you clearing stages with an entertaining storyline, solving puzzles, battling monsters, and finding hidden secrets. There's a different theme for each chapter that is full of callbacks and references to popular games, comic books, movies, and other popular culture. My favorite are the multiplayer mode, the four player real time co-op raids, and real time 1v1 PvP. Yep, I will see you guys on the PvP battlefield. You can take on the challenge and tower mode where challenges can only be cleared with specific weapon and character types. Four different types of dungeons are available to play through to acquire gold, experience, evolution stones, and item enhancement materials. There's also social and housing features with guilds, floating castle, and more. In the floating castle you create your own floating castle where you can place buildings and structures that generate wealth over time and the guild houses can be customized you can walk around them in real time with other members of your guild variety is the spice of life with guardian tales there's more than 50 characters and over 200 unique equipments with 10 different equipment types download link in the description below thanks a lot guys Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric and yesterday I reported that some retailers were already sending out emails and messages to people who are pre-order customers that they might not get their PlayStation 5 on launch day. That they might have to wait a little bit longer. So this situation is starting to get a little confusing and it's mostly because Sony has finally started to inform retailers of their stock allocation for launch. Apparently there's more pre-orders out than there is inventory that would be coming out around launch date and it's actually kind of interesting to see how all this is going down it's almost like sony wasn't prepared for pre-orders at all and that, that's kind of interesting considering that we're less than two months away from the actual launch date this is supposed to be coming out november it's already the end of September and there's already all this chaos. Now, I don't recall the PlayStation 4 launch being this chaotic online, but as far as online pre-orders going, it seems that they did the showcase Wednesday. They said pre-orders would be coming out the next day and then they did it early and everything just went straight down the uh, hell in a handbasket, basically. But now... Yesterday, Shop2 was emailing its pre-order customers telling them they wouldn't get it. But now, if you shopped at GameStop in Ireland, so GameStop Ireland, this is not confirmed any other GameStops yet. I'm nervous that you guys are nervous that if you might have did this from GameStop, you might have your delay as well. But look at this. GameStop IE, so Ireland, is telling some customers, PS5 pre-order customers... They'll have to wait until 2021. So they're telling some PS5 pre-order customers they'll wait. They cite circumstances out of our control a day after Sony informed EU retailers out of stock. So um, yesterday was Shop 2 that was telling customers that their pre-order might be delayed. Now GameStop Ireland. So this isn't just a small retailer like Shop 2. This is GameStop so Ireland's GameStop chain has contacted some PS5 pre-order customers to tell them not to expect their consoles to arrive before 2021. Ooh, so some people might have to wait until after January to get their PlayStation 5. That's how delayed the stock allocation is looking like, at least in GameStop Ireland. Um... I'm hoping this doesn't go to North America. <laughs> I want you guys to get your PlayStation 5s. It does suck for the people in Ireland. If you did order one from Ireland, guys, and you're watching this, let me know in the chat down below. Multiple VGC readers have received notice from the retailer claiming that it recently received confirmation that it won't be able to fulfill your pre-order until 2021. The message claims that the delay is due to circumstances out of our control and offers the option to remain in the pre-order queue or cancel entirely. So they're letting people stay in the queue to get their pre-order or just cancel if they're fed up. I mean, you might as well stay in. <laughs> Don't cancel. You came this far, people. If you cancel, you're not going to get one for sure. 
Unless you manage to find one at launch, which I'm starting to doubt there's going to be any available in store at launch date. With how chaotic this is going, you're not going to be able to just to walk in and get a, a PS5 pre order at all. If they can't even have enough stock to fulfill people who pre ordered it, you're not going to be able to get one in store if you didn't pre order. This is going to be a mess. This is like Tickle Me Elmo again. The Irish retailer's message to customers comes less than 24 hours after Sony started informing European retailers of their PlayStation 5 launch day allocation. So this is part of what I said yesterday. It's going to say, on Monday, UK's Shop2 claimed it had received PS5 allocation detail from Sony, which meant it would not be able to fulfill all of its pre-orders. So, Sony is starting to tell people, <laughs> or starting to tell its retailers, hey guys, there's no stock. Um, tell your customers sorry. So this is the message. This is um, the GameStop email. As you can see, they got this email sent their way. And uh, it says, Thanks for reserving your place in the queue for the PlayStation 5. We know you want to get your hands on the console as soon as possible, but unfortunately, due to circumstances out of our control, we've now got confirmation that we won't be able to fulfill your pre-order until 2021. Ouch. If you choose to hold your current place at the queue, it will ensure that you'll get a console once they become available in future waves. Once we have any more information, we'll let you know when you can expect to receive your console. Oh, man. So it's a we'll let you know basis, which means probably... Probably a long time from now. Alternatively, you are free to cancel your place in the queue at any time by email and hello at GameStop.ie so the customer care team can process a refund on your deposit. We apologize for any convenience costs. So you have to email to request a refund. That's going to be a mess in its own. Some people are probably going to have months and months and months to wait for their deposit on their refund. So this talks a little bit more about the Shop 2 thing. So Shop 2 has emailed, emailed its PlayStation 5 pre-order customers to either tell them their pre-order is safe for launch or that they won't receive the console in time for November 19th. Amazon has also warned some PS5 pre-order customers that they may not receive their console day of release. So I got this email because I, I pre-ordered through Amazon. So I've been told that it might not be here on launch date due to high demand. I'm hoping not. But it is confirmed. PlayStation 5 is confirmed November 12th. U.S., Japan, Canada, Mexico, Australia, South Korea. Uh, the rest of the world is going to get it on the 19th. So the rest of the world is Denmark, Ireland, Europe, some places in Europe. Uh, so multiple reelers did sell out. It talks about how Sony apologized, how the stock, you know, has not yet to appear or be confirmed between now and launch date. So, I don't know. It's crazy because earlier this month, um, there was denial from Sony that they were going to have trouble with shipping estimates, that uh, there was production issues, supposedly. They said that they hope to ship 11 million consoles by March. They said that they're going to have enough units available, more units than the PlayStation 4 launch, um, that production is ramping up, but they've always kind of said, um, that they weren't going to have any supply issues with shipping and stuff like that. But now it's looking like that is not the fact. So again, if you haven't gotten a PlayStation 5 pre-order, unless there's another wave, which this last Friday they did select retailers like GameStop had in-store pre-orders, um... I don't know if there might be a wave in October or not. I know some people are holding faith that there will be. Maybe. Who knows? I, I think online pre-orders for sure might be happening off and on. But um, uh, I don't know, man. Are they, gonna, they might have to do air shipments to uh, meet the demand this year. Because this is these two, the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, are going to be the retail gifts of this holiday season. And it's unfortunate that people are getting these emails saying that they're not going to get it until 2021. Hopefully you guys aren't in this boat. Comment down below again if you did receive this from GameStop Ireland. If you were told that you're not getting it to 2021. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already so you can keep up to date on any PlayStation 5 pre-order news, Xbox Series X stuff, or Nintendo Switch news. I'm trying my best to keep up to date, let you guys know, and uh, subscribe again. Red button down below. Help me get to 69,000 subscribers. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. 
Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. You want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it, guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.